Hi everybody, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. We're back for part seven. Let me just go ahead and I'm gonna catch all of you up to date really quickly. I'm gonna blaze through it really quickly. I've had a couple of questions. I get lots of emails and, and direct messages, so I just kinda wanna answer those really quickly and then we'll throw ourselves into part seven and what that means for us. So. Um, I started this wardrobe with a color called Queen Bee. Okay, it's from DIY. It's the only paint that I use unless I'm working with my acrylics that I use on my canvases. And sometimes I actually will add some acrylic here. Um, so we started with Queen Bee. Then I came in with some warmer tones like Summer Crush and um, Cowgirl Coral and red which is this deep red color that you're seeing here um i then i came in with this periwinkle color now you're asking what what is this periwinkle color well my goodness i um i took kissing booth and i took french millinery and then i added just a little bit of um prom queen anyway anyway i got this great and you can only see this periwinkle in a few areas you can see it right here and there is like right here and a few other areas oh, over here. So it's very sparingly. Then I took Old 57, which is the color of a truck, covered here and around. Then I added mermaid tail. Um, then I did copper on the hinges and the key lock here. Guys, then I made a turquoise wax. And all I did with that was take my clear wax and I mixed a little paint from Old 57 into it. Um, I feel like these are not on. So give me just one second. I want to make sure that these are on and that you guys can hear me well. Um, I apologize. All right. Hello, everybody. Thanks for your hellos and your thumbs up and your shares. I appreciate you guys so much. I can see all of them popping up on YouTube and on Facebook. So we're here with part seven. So yesterday I added a turquoise wax and I just, I cannot decide. Originally, this piece was going to be mostly yellow with some blue. And there was just going to be a little bit of red peeking in. And then the red is like, I can't cover it up. I, I refuse to do it. So I've changed course a little bit here. Um, I added some more blue, some more of the mermaid tail, a little bit more of the um, carnival red. <clears throat> I took some of my acrylics and I dripped water down acrylic. And I have like a teal and a really bright electric pink here and there. So I added a little bit of the turquoise wax here in the hardware. I know you guys can't see it, but I did post pictures yesterday under the community tab and then all over Facebook, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm blowing up your feed with pictures of this piece. Um, I also am aware that you only see a part of it. But if I back you all the way out, you really won't see the details. So I promise I'll post really good pictures. <clears throat> I'm ecstatic to get it finished. Um, I grabbed today my Paint Pixie Wax Brush. Those are the brushes that I'm using. Um, this is a wax brush. I designate one for white, one for clear, one for um, dark brown, and one for black. I did not make a yellow wax. I only did the turquoise wax. Guys, I sat here and stared at this sucker for two hours yesterday. Took pictures, changed the lighting, walked around. It went and worked on the sides. So... As of yesterday, I was going to just clear wax the whole thing and be done with it because I'm in love with the way that it looks. Then I woke up today. And you know what? Today's a new day. Now I'm going to add some white wax. That's really what my heart is saying you've got to do. So I've got my white wax paint pixie brush. I scooped a bunch of white wax into this bowl. We're ready to go. I did the entire side before I went live. And I tested the entire piece of white right here. And I'm in love with it. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with it. So if you're using DIY, you don't need very much. I'm really just going to put it on the very tip. Okay. I'm going to have a cotton rag handy because I want to wipe off any blobs that are left behind. Okay. So I'm going to use it very sparingly because I love it so much that I'm a little bit I'm a little on edge because I don't want to ruin it, but I'll be able to pull it back off if I need to. So we're just going to go. We're just, just go, girl, go. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna grab this rag. If you remember part one, I put yellow on and then I sealed it with the clear wax because I wanted to make sure that yellow was never covered up. I wanted to make sure I never watered it down and that it never disappeared. So everywhere in these little nooks and crannies, you can see yellow, yellow, yellow. Even though it's not my top color, I can still see that it was originally the first color. So... I know you can't see that very well, and I promise I'll post really good pics, but I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to change it as I go. Oh, my goodness. You've got to try the white. Okay, so I'm in love with this. I love, 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 love it. The white gets down in all of these little grooves. I had metallic right here also dripping from the top of this, and it's coming through the white. Oh my goodness. Oh, I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's keep going. I love it so much. Let's keep going. I'm going to do this little middle section right here. It's like the paint, the paint angels are seeing, oh, I don't know. And I'm not trying to like boast myself or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm happy with it. That's what I'm saying. I'm just happy with it. Oh, I love the way that it washes over the color. Promise I'll take a photo of this area right here so you all can see this goodness. Again, I'll post it in the community tab here where you get a notification. And on Facebook, I'll post it in here in the thread. And then also, um, I'll, make, I'll create some posts. But I'm going to keep going with this because I'm really happy with it. I was going to do dark brown. Um, I was going to do black. And I went to bed going, nope, I'm just going to do clear over the whole thing because it's just great the way that it is. And then I woke up going, white wax, white wax. <sighs> is that silly? Am I the only one that goes to bed daydreaming about your furniture? Raise your hand. Anybody else go to bed daydreaming about your furniture? So silly. I feel silly, but then I think, you know what? There's a whole slew of us out there that do that. So I'm not, I'm not really feeling that. That's silly because I know I'm right in my element with you guys. This just gives it a soft wash that takes away any brightness or boldness. So right here I have that metallic electric pink acrylic paint. And I just put a little white over it and it softened it beautifully. Guys, I've been using a lot of white wax lately and I'm hooked on it. But I will ad admit this was not my plan. This was not my original plan. So we had like 57 degrees last week on Friday. It's 87. It's 87. So I'm like, whoo, it's warm. Okay. Okay. Can anybody like do a dance with me? Anybody like paint dance? Like <laughs> paint dance? Happy. That's a happy one. That's a happy one.
Yes, girl. Um, I know I'm missing your questions, but I promise I'll go back and answer them. Or at least I'm going to try. I should never promise, but I'm definitely going to try. And I'm not ignoring you. I just want to paint for you and do as much as I can while you're here and while you're watching, okay? You might not be able to tell the difference, but you might be able to. Let me see. So there's white wax from here up on this side. And then on this side, there's not. You can see there's a lot dark. It's a lot darker on this side than it is here. And in person, I promise it's good. Yay, step seven, right? It's going to take me a while to do this whole piece. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. A couple of you have asked if I have any upcoming classes. Um, I think one of you asked me yesterday and one of you asked me this morning. I do. I put a new one on the schedule today. Or no, yesterday. I put a new one on the schedule for the end of June. It's an online class that you can take where we will basically create a one-of-a-kind finish together. I'll do it step-by-step. All you have to do is have a Facebook and I'll put you in a private group like I always do. And we'll just take our little class. Love, 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 love. All right. So let's move over here to this side. I'll move you guys over just a little bit. Thanks for being here, you guys. I so appreciate you. I'm seeing some names on here I haven't seen in a while. So I appreciate you guys. It's good to see you. We're on part seven using white wax. Even though we planned on doing something totally different. We were going to use yellow wax. I was going to do brown. I was going to do clear. All these different things. And I woke up today saying, oh, girl, no, white wax all the way. So I'm going to trust my gut instincts. And so far, I'm really, really happy with the way this looks over this scroll and over these colors. Got to get that door to stay closed. The latch keeps coming open at the bottom. I'm just kind of rubbing back any extra. There's some globs down in here that gets stuck in there, and I don't want any big white globs. So, yes, I have online classes, you guys. Um, I have an in-person class scheduled for June 8th where you can come and see us paint in person. With the my guest is Debbie Beard, who actually owns the paint company that I'm using, of the paint that I'm using, and also the owner of the brush company, Josie Seifker. She will be here as well, June eighth, and we will be teaching a class about all the things paint related. It's going good. It's going really good. I had a member in my creative connection. I give everybody challenges. And um, speaking of, I need to give them a new challenge today. Uh, I give everybody challenges. And the member, Karen Roussel of the Noble Willow, she won. And when you win, won this challenge, I invited her to the class. So she got a free ticket to the class June 8th because her piece won the contest. I'm not the one that votes, just FYI. The women and men in my group are the ones that do the voting. I just get to do the prizes. Really, really loving it. I 
promise as soon as I get off of here, guys, I'll post some photos so you can see this closer, see all of this detail. And hopefully by Thursday or Friday, I've got this piece finished and can get it photographed. But of course, I still have to do the side. I have the white wax on that side, but not on this one. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just going to keep doing that, you guys. Thanks for being here. Um, this is going to be my favorite piece of yours. Thank you so much. Thank you, Angel. Um, thank you, Chantel. Chantel. Yes, guys, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for the, the thumbs up and the shares and all of your hearts today. We'll be back tomorrow with part eight. For sure. I love how the white washed off in the bright colors. Yeah, I like the bright colors too, but I want you to know it's still, it's still bright. It's still going to be bright, you guys. So look for those pictures. I'm going to get them taken here in a few minutes when I finish the whole front of this, and I'll get them.